it's Jess here at Bless Jess. Thank you so much for watching for a, another daily vlog. I'm trying to get my hair to cooperate today. Welcome, you guys. So today is Saturday. If you are new, I am a mom of three. Me and my husband um, have three kids, and I show our life over here. Um, today is Saturday, and every few months, maybe, we take a trip. David's helping me get some of the trash out of my I'm car. Sorry, it's okay. Um, I really appreciate it because my car is really trashed up with all the kids and the mail, the mail always gets like thrown down and then there's trash when we get in. Every few months we go to a town a little bit north of us and we, there's like a Target, there's a Chick-fil-A, there's some like bigger stores. We live in a small town. We don't have any of that stuff. So it's just nice to kind of get out. I, I think I'm going to run back in the house and get a sweatshirt though because it's colder than I thought. I just have on this like lightweight shirt. Um, and I thought I'd be okay, but I think I'm going to go get a quick sweatshirt. But you guys come with us. I thought y'all could come into town with us today. I'm not sure what we're going to do. We don't really have a plan or anything we really need. We've just been cooped up. It's been really wintry and yucky outside. We haven't been able to get out of the house. So I thought, let's go to town. Let's do something fun. So we've got the kids loaded in the car. I'm going to get my sweatshirt. We're going to get on the road. It takes us about 50 minutes or so to get there. And then we'll show you guys what all we do today. So you guys come spend the day with us. Ooh, the light is so weird. Um, I don't know why that's weird. It doesn't look like pinky in here. Um, I missed a turn. So it took us forever to get here, but we're going into Target. Hello. Hello. We just you... watched they watched a movie. They watched a movie and it literally ended right as I was parking. So it was perfect for y'all. Huh? <laughs> so we're all getting out. Nate's eating a quick snack because he's already said I, he wanted to go to Chick-fil-A, but we're not going to Chick-fil-A today. No, we're going he to said somewhere else. he wanted to get pizza. Oh, he said pizza. He's just hungry. So he's <laughs> eating a little bit of a snack. It's only 1045. So we got to kill a little time before lunch. We're going somewhere different for lunch. So we're going to go into Target. Go Raisin Canes. Raisin Canes. They're finally open for dining. We so don't like drive-thru. Well, it's hard to eat drive-thru in the car. You know, we so. have a lot of stuff in the car. All right, guys. let's get Mark out. Mark is at an age now where he wants to walk. And oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay. Your purse. My purse. I'm getting hung up. Um, Mark's at an age where he likes to walk in the stores, so it's really fun. Mark, you want to get out? Mark took a little nap in the car while we were while we were driving. You want to get out? Fry. Fry. <laughs> I think Mark is hungry too. He's saying fry. Fry. You've been hiding in the shadows way too long You always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong Yeah, you better step into the light, just give it a try Think that it's time you let that spark out You've been hiding in the shadows way too long Cause you're a work of art So we were gone all day. We left around 9.15, got home at almost 3, but we had a great time. I have a headache now, so I need that to go away. And it's like snowing outside very lightly. I don't think it's supposed to do much. If any of you guys live in the north, you know. Yeah, if you live in the north, you know that we've had a lot of snow. But um, I don't think it's really supposed to do much. I thought you guys might like to see what we got at... Oh, guys, I'm sorry. I'm um, something. I hope Dave is not unwrapping what I wanted to show y'all. David? 
Okay, so David had opened this. I wanted to show you guys real quick. So I'm going to show you. He um, zipped it back up for me. So we were walking around TJ Maxx. I was going to show you the stuff I got at Target first, but we ended up running into, actually it wasn't TJ Maxx, it's Home Goods. And um, I was looking for a cookie scoop. That's why I went in there. Our cookie scoop broke. That's why we went in there. <laughs> we didn't find a cookie scoop. Can y'all believe it? They had a million other gadgets. No cookie scoop. But we were walking by. And we saw this comforter. So we, our comforter is kind of like lumpy. Like it's been washed so many times. It's like, it's really old. It's, we've had it for several years. Yeah, we have really pretty yellow lamps and I was just walking through and I saw this comforter. Um, it's Rachel Zoe and it's just really pretty. It's like a light yellow print. And if you can see right here, it the home goods price was $99 and it's been marked down several times. I wonder what these under stickers say. 69. It was marked down several times, but we only paid $45. So it was a really good deal. We have really pretty yellow bedside lamps. So I think it's gonna be really pretty in there. And then we have like blue curtains, like dark navy blue curtains. So I think it'll be pretty. So that is one of the things we got at TJ Maxx, not TJ Maxx, Home Goods, same, same kind of thing. Then me and Lucy were looking around and we saw, I saw this. Let me move some of this stuff. You guys can see. Um, this really pretty purple pillow and I, I It was $10 and it's like this really soft lavender. I pull everything in stores that I see that might be soft. We thought this might be pretty. Lucy has a white bed and so we thought this might be pretty. She's got some purple accents in there. We just thought that would be pretty. And then the other thing we got at Home Goods. I, mean, I just. I saw this so cup awesome. sitting on like by the cash register on a random no, table. It was like with like the candles. Yes, yeah, like somebody just sat it down and I thought it was the cutest it's only two dollars. Cut. We turned the price over and it was marked down to two dollars. I have no idea why. There's nothing wrong with it. And I just thought it was really cute. We don't need another coffee cup. I've got a bunch, but <laughs> um this one was just so cute. So we ended up to. not really buying anything at Old Navy because I don't know, they had a lot of good sales on like athletic wear. But I just bought two new pairs of pants for um, working out and stuff. So I may wait. Well, I'm going to wait a little while before I buy any more. But um, it was tempting because they had some really good prices. We went to we went to um, Target. Target. And we found a couple things. So there was this two-pack of pajamas. They're Mickey pajamas. Yeah, I'll tell them about that. Um, we got two pairs of pajamas for Mark. I went ahead and got him three tees, and they were on clearance for eleven dollars. So that was good. I got a two pack of scissors because we go out to eat. I like to have scissors to cut up the kids' food, and I forgot to bring them. Yeah, they have like not like plastic knives, and it's just easier to use scissors to cut up food with. So I used got those. And then the other thing we got at Target. We got we found the trouble. Trouble. We've been thinking Lucy would like this game, so we got trouble. And we also got very exciting over here. Dryer sheets. And I know you guys are probably watching this after Valentine's Day, but these are the Valentine's presents for the teachers this year. So I got the dove chocolates. I got I found a little printable that says it takes a big heart to shape. It takes a big heart to shape little minds, and we have one for all the teachers. This is a hot mess, so we're going to kind of clean up a little bit. We have more. What? We went to another store below. Oh, yeah. We went to Five Below, and Lucy got this foam stuff. I also got a candy, guys, and it said 10 for a dollar. She got this candy that was 10 for a dollar, so she picked out a bunch of that, and she's got this foam stuff. I bet so. Do you guys see the cuteness over here? Layla. She's looking him right in the face. I, I bet you guys. Layla is the most loved. Mark will just follow her around saying, loves you, loves you. And they just kiss each other all the time. <laughs> it's so funny. Okay, Layla. Okay. Okay. I think some of you might have this. It is the Play-Doh red foam. Yeah. So. It was a good day, huh? Did we, you have fun? We, Mama saw it and she said it might be good for me. I'm like, I want that. <laughs> yeah, we thought maybe Nate would like it with his sensory stuff. Guys. 
Yeah, he might not like that. Can you tell everybody what you thought of Raisin Cane's? Uh, sure. You like the toast? <laughs> you like the chicken and french fries too, right? I did. Everybody, everybody liked it. Mark didn't really like it, but he's not big on chicken. He so. ate goldfish. And, he goldfish and, that, and applesauce. You know, when we went, they have um, these chair strollers. I used my foot and said bye-bye and pushed him back. And then I used my foot and pushed him forward and said come back. They're like um, they're like high chairs on wheels. So she was scooting Mark around. And he like was that. laughing. So when I get this on the bed, I'll show y'all. I don't know how much you can tell in there because it's the there. lighting is not great. I need to work on the lighting in there, but um, and it's kind of wrinkled. But we'll show you. It comes with the bedspread and then two shams and then a couple of um, accent pillows. So I thought it was a good deal for $45 and these two over here. <laughs> when he just said Sasu, Sasu, that's love you. Say love you, Layla. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> right, you guys. So I told y'all the lighting in here is bad, but it looks better. Not on the camera. It looks better in person. But what do you guys think? Um, I am not sure about the pillows that came with it. The pillows that came with it are these white ones. To me, I don't know. I just don't think they go as good. So I'm thinking about at least getting rid of this big white one. Um, the other pillows I already had. But I don't know. I just think it's very bright. And like I said, it matches those lamps over there that you can't really see because they're so bright. Um, I like it. I think we did a good a good deal. It's still really wrinkled. It will kind of, as we use it, probably undo a lot. I'm not ironing it. <laughs> uh, it probably would look better if I went and ironed it, um, but I just don't think I want to deal with that today because I still have a lot of stuff to do since we've been gone all day, but I really like it. And this, these are our curtains. I got these curtains at Walmart. They're like a velvety texture and I think they're so pretty. So behind here is a window. Oh, uh, you can't really tell. It's more on da it's more on David's side over there is his side. And there was a small window and we didn't want, you know, to highlight the window because it's small. So we just pretended like this was our backdrop. And I really like how it came out. Um yeah, so with the blue curtains, I think it looks better to have the colored bedspread, but it's still not real brightly colored. It's, you know, kind of light. Um, but the white, I don't know. I just like the yellow, I think, better. And, yeah, I'm happy with it. So, yay for Home Goods having a good sale. And me just happened to, I wasn't even looking at the bedspreads. Um, I was just looking for a cookie scoop. And <laughs> it worked out. Okay, I'm sorry if you have, like, a smudge in your lens. <laughs> I'm pretty sure um, your lens was smudged that whole time. But hopefully you didn't notice. Um, I need to go on the dishwasher and do like all the morning stuff I normally do that I didn't do this morning. Um, I'm not sure what else we're doing tonight. I know I would like to go to the gym, but tonight is when our gym close. They close early one day a week. I'm not sure why it's Saturday night. I guess it's like the least busy time people are there. Usually they're open either 24 hours or to like midnight, but on Saturdays they close at seven. So um, I usually don't go that late anyway, but it's already three and we have to have dinner and everything. So if I can get to the gym, that would be great. I still have a little bit of a headache, so I need that to go away first. And then um, I need to just do some chores around the house, but I'll definitely check in with you guys. We had such a fun, fun day. Um, I wanted to also say that cart that you saw Nate in at Target, I wanted to mention what that is. If you don't know, that's called a Caroline's cart. And they actually, it was created by a, a, a mom, a family in Birmingham, or not Birmingham, Alabama. I'm not sure what part of Alabama they're from. Um, but it's basically a handicapped wheelchair for kids with special needs, adults with special needs. It's hard. It is hard. I can't imagine if Nate was like in a wheelchair, how we would push a wheelchair and a buggy at the same time. Like say you're a mom, you have a kid in a wheelchair. How would you push them and a buggy? Or you have an adult with a, you know, an adult child that's in a wheelchair. How would you push them? and a shopping cart around the store. So that was the whole point of her making it. But it's also for kids that wander. Like Nate, he can walk, but going into a store is very stressful for him. It's very stressful for me. I have to have a grip on him like 
unbelievable grip. He, we can't let go of him for a second because he will run off. Um, all the sensory, everything, it's just very, very stressful. So if we're shopping for more than like two minutes, it's very, very stressful on Nate. And the Caroline's cart makes it so much easier. He can sit down. Um, it's just a blessing. And so I think all Targets have them. And I believe now they're in all Walmarts. I think they're in Lowe's. They're really getting out there. If your stores don't have them, I would ask the manager, like ask them for it because that is just a great, it's a great thing. Um, you know, to be more inclusive in stores. I, I never would have thought of any of this. Um, I never would have thought that that would have been helpful until we are in the situation with Nate. When he was little, it was no big deal. We could just put him in a, a shopping cart, put him in the seat, put him in the big part. Now he's too big for both of those. And so going into a store as a family is very hard unless the store has a Caroline's cart. So I wanted to mention what that is. I also just got something in the mail. Um, I ordered this on Amazon and I'm going to, we're going to try it out with Nate. Basically, let me show y'all. It is, and they, they sent us two. It was like two for like $12. They were really cheap. I got them on Amazon. I'll link them. And it's like a thing you wear on your wrist and then your child can wear one on their wrist and it keeps you together without having to like hold on to them. And they can have a little bit of freedom. They can't get it off because there is a lock that unlocks it. I think the lock is on the parent's wrist. And so I just thought this would be good to try for $12. They sent us two of them. He has a little bit of freedom. And I know like people are going to think, well, that's a leash for your child. You know, what a terrible parent you are. But unless you've had a kid that wanders off, that runs away, that gets overwhelmed, you don't understand, you know? And I was reading the reviews because I was like, because a lot of these I've seen with toddlers, you know? And they were saying that they fit like even small adults. Like there was, the, they use these for like elderly people too. So we're gonna try these when we go to Walmart, when we go anywhere that involves, you know, normally us having to have such a good grip on Nate and um, see if this gives him a little bit more freedom and a little bit more peace of mind for us. Um, but still, like, if we were doing a longer shopping trip, I would still probably use the Caroline's cart because um, of the overstimulation that sometimes being in a long, a big, long store can bring. So, anyway, I thought I would mention that. And I will link those that I just thought down below. If you're maybe in a similar place in life and you think maybe you would use them, um, just going anywhere. Like, when we went to Dollywood, I was so afraid because you just don't know if you can... My whole internal monologue when we go out is like, where's Nate? Where's Nate? Where's Nate? Where's Nate? Do we have him? Do we have him? I mean, it's nonstop. Like, I can't relax for a second because I'm just thinking, like, if he were to get away from us, I don't know what would happen. Um, he can't usually, like, he's not going to think to go up to somebody probably and ask them for help. he will probably just run around. And, you know, that's just so scary to think about. And um, maybe some, like, things like this will help us. Um, you know, we've had like the little vest he's wear, whereas it looks more like an actual leash. Um, but maybe something like this would be better. Uh, I don't know. So we're going to, we're going to try it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go get my chores done. I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Nobody told me to settle Don't get around But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like You're crazy for saying I should slow down But maybe I'm escaping Hello friends Okay, so I've been working all, all, all evening So I wanted to just end the video by chatting with you guys for a few minutes um, I did go to the gym So that was great I know why they close at seven o'clock at, at night on Saturdays because there is no one there. I was there around five and I think there was maybe eight other people there. It was practically empty, which I love going when it's empty like that. Um, I ended up doing some bicycle. That was a great workout. And then I did, well, I first did legs on the weights and then I did the bicycle. So really worked out my legs today. Came home, actually I went to Aldi. So that grocery haul will be coming 
or you guys actually, I think you've already seen it when you see this. Um, came home and did some baking. So I saw over on Mandy and the Makings channel her Valentine's recipe. One of her Valentine's recipes she she tried out was a cake mix cookie, and it looked really festive. And so I thought if we baked them, we could give half as gifts. The kids are still up. Um, so they turned out so cute. I mean, you saw them. I was going to show you them, but you saw them. And so what I did was, because I realized I didn't have anything for the bus drivers, and I like giving them just a little something to show love, you know. So we wrapped up a few of the cookies and just like a little treat bag. And I think they look really cute. So bus drivers, Lucy liked the way they look so much. She wanted to give her teacher one too. So teacher and Valentine, it's always nice when we can have, we can share because like if I make a whole batch of cookies, they a lot of times get thrown away because we don't eat them all before they go stale. So it's nice to be able to share. Um, and it was so easy, a cake mix, eggs, oil, and M&Ms. I know when you guys are watching this, it's already over, Valentine's <laughs> Day's over, but you can make these with a, probably a regular cake mix, and because I use a red velvet cake, obviously, um, but you can make it with a regular cake mix and just throw in regular M&Ms. It was so easy. One bowl, you know, no measuring was really easy. So the other thing I worked on tonight was my recipe binder. This is not fancy. This is like literally I printed out some like divider pages I found for free online. And then I've been printing out recipes as I try them. Instead of just looking at them on my phone, I've been printing them out so that I can like write on them and put them in my binder. So this will be great when, you know, sometimes you find a recipe you really like, but then you forget about it. <laughs> or you um, forget where it was that you found it. Because I pretty much always, I don't cook out of recipe books. I cook based on like online stuff. And I do have like Pinterest boards and stuff, but I still forget about them over there. So everybody's really wound up. Can you say hi? Oh, mommy. Mommy. What happened? I don't want it at bump my head. Do you bump his head? Yeah. Oh, oh my. Is that all better? Yeah. Nate. <laughs> Nate's doing some kind of accent. <laughs> now he's laughing. Nate's been asking me to go to sleep for like 30 minutes. <laughs> he's ready. Um, they are wound up. That's going to be very fun. But anyway, I'm very excited for this recipe book. And then I can kind of keep a little bit more organized. And then it'll also be nice when I'm going to like make meal plans and stuff. I can just look through that and get ideas. How was your day today? Good. And I still have my clothes You need to go on. get your pajamas on. Oh, I'm sleeping in these. Ow. Yay! Okay. <laughs> okay, we are wound up. <laughs> this yeah. is why I normally end the vlog when they're already in bed. Anyway, it was been it's been a really good family day. It's been a really nice family day. We needed this, like we needed to get out and venture out. We even got new bedding, so I'm really excited to sleep. There's something about sleeping with new bedding, you know? You just feel all fresh and new. Okay. So, <laughs> we're going to end the video. You, do you, do you want to tell him a joke? Yes. Okay. 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 Tell me a joke. Why did, what, what did Keith say when he got scared? You got to come over here where they can hear you. What did he, hold on. What did King Tut say when he got scared? I want my mommy. I want my mommy. There you go. Ba boom, boom. Shh. Nate's full of jokes, isn't he? Okay. Do you have a joke? Okay. <laughs> We're going to sign off. If you like the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. Subscribe if you want to be a part of all the craziness. And we'll see you guys later. Thanks for Bye. watching. Bye. Bye.